Hi everyone. Today we will discuss the index of hydrogen deficiency. How to calculate and what is the significance of this index of hydrogen deficiency. What is IHD? Index of hydrogen deficiency indicates the degree of unsaturation. For example, let us take a compound like this and this is a saturated compound and it is an alkane. And if we see the number of carbons here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Totally it is having the 6 carbons saturated alkane. And if you see the molecular formula of this compound, because it is having the 6 carbons, alkanes are having the molecular formula of CnH2n plus 2. So this is having the C6H14 as the molecular formula. Now can we observe any unsaturation in this compound because it is a saturated we cannot observe any double bond in this compound. And similarly let us take another compound like this so this is a cycloalkane and we know that cycloalkane is saturated that means it is not having any double bonds. And if we see the molecular formula of the cyclohexane it is well known it is having the molecular formula of C6H12. So what happened when we convert a saturated compound having 6 carbons to a cyclic compound again having the 6 carbons. So within this cyclization process the two hydrons are going to be lost which can be observed in the molecular formula. The open chain compound is having C6H14 but the cyclic compound is having C6H12. So two hydrons are lost during the cyclization. Now let us take another compound this is again well known benzene. Benzene is having the molecular formula of C6H6. And it is well familiar that the benzene is unsaturated because of presence of 3 pi bonds. But actually benzene not acts like a unsaturated compound because of the resonance. But in the structural point of view we can observe the 3 pi bonds there. So we can see some unsaturation. And even if we compare the number of hydrogens uh, attached with each carbon this compound is having the less hydrogens. So we can say it is somewhat unsaturated. And if we compare this benzene with the saturated open chain compound, how many hydrons are lost in the benzene? So you can see that the benzene is having the 8 hydrogens less compared with the saturated alkane. So in this way, whenever a open chain saturated compound is going to be converted into a cyclic compound, otherwise it is converted into a aromatic compound, we can observe a decrease in the number of hydrogens. So this can be indicated by the IHD, the index of hydrogen deficiency. And since in the cyclohexane two hydrons are going to be lost, so IHD is the number of hydrogen lost by two. So we can take the two by two as one value for the cyclohexane. Similarly, the IHD value for the benzene will be eight by two that gives four. Now why the IHD value of the cyclohexane is one, even it is not having the pi bonds and why the IHD value of the benzene is 4 even it is having the 3 pi bonds. Let us see why it is like this just by seeing the calculation of IHD. Now let us see the calculation of IHD value. The index of hydrogen deficiency indicates the degree of unsaturation that's why sometimes it is also called as unsaturation index. But it may not always indicate the presence of pi bonds and this IHD can also indicate the presence of cyclic ring where the hydrogens are going to be lost during the cyclization process. IHD indicates the degree of unsaturation which may indicate the presence of a cyclic ring or pi bonds or both of these may be present in the compound. For example, if we take the cyclohexane, in the cyclohexane we cannot observe any presence of pi bonds but we can observe a cyclic ring. Here the number of rings is 1 and pi bonds is 0 so total value of the IHD will be 1. Similarly in case of benzene we can see that the benzene is having 1 ring so the number of rings is 1 and it is having the 3 pi bonds so pi bonds is equal to 3 so total number of degree of unsaturation is 1 plus 3 that is equal to 4. So IHD value for the benzene is equal to 4. Similarly let us take another example here this is the ethyl benzene. And now if we see the number of rings in this compound is only 1 and again the number of pi bonds is again 3. There is no extended conjugation so only 3 pi bonds are there. So the IHD value is equal to 4. Index of hydrogen deficiency for this ethyl benzene is 4 as well as for benzene is also 4. So this IHD value increases 
by increasing the number of pi bonds otherwise by increasing the number of cyclic ring systems similarly let us take another compound here now this compound is having the two cyclic rings so the number of rings is equal to 2 and this is not having any pi bond so pi bonds is equal to 0 so the IHD value it will be 2 in this way just by seeing the structure we can identify the number of rings as well as the pi bonds are present and if we combine all these we can get the IHD value now let us see calculation of the IHD value with the molecular formula till now we have seen how can we calculate the IHD value whenever the structure is given but suppose if the structure is not given and we are given with molecular formula of the compound only. So let us take one example here. A compound is having a molecular formula of C8H10. Then what is the IHD value? So now we can compare this molecular formula with a saturated compound having same number of carbons. The molecular formula of a saturated compound having 8 number of carbons will be C8H18. So now we can directly see how many hydrons are going to be lost in the given sample comparing with the saturated molecular formula we can observe that 8 hydrons are going to be lost so the index of hydrogen deficiency will be 8 by 2 that is equal to 4 and already we have seen one of the previous example ethyl benzene we have seen that uh, ethyl benzene is having the one cyclic ring and three pi bonds so total IHD value is equal to 4 and we get the same value when we do the calculation with taking its molecular formula similarly let us take another example a compound with molecular formula c10h18 so if we compare with the saturated molecular formula c10h22 the number of hydrogen that are lost are the four hydrogens so by calculating the ihd value it will the ihd is equal to 4 by 2 that equal to 2 now this molecular formula may be correspond to one of the structure like this so for this structure already we have seen that the IHD value is 2 because it is having the two cyclic ring systems. And we can also identify the IHD value just by seeing the number of cleavages that are required to convert the cyclic ring system to a open chain compound. Suppose if we cleave the bond between these two rings, some part of the ring is going to be open but still the ring is not completely open. Then if we cleave another chemical bond, we can see that the entire ring is going to be open. So in order to convert this cyclic compound into completely open chain compound we require the breaking of at least two chemical bonds. We can break any of the two chemical bonds such that we are going to convert this cyclic compound into a open chain compound. So since we require two cleavages the IHD value for this compound will be 2. So in this way for a cyclic structure we can also check uh, the IHD value by seeing the ring openings. Now let us take another uh, cyclic structure. This is a bicyclo compound. Let us give the numbering to this bicyclo compound. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. So total it is having the 8 carbon bicyclo compound. The number of pi bonds is equal to 0 because there is no pi bond in this structure. And how many number of rings are present? So here, even if it is a bicyclo compound, we can observe the three types of rings. For example, a ring is formed by one, the carbons uh, C1 to C6, as well as uh, another ring can also be observed from the carbons 1, 2, 3, 4, 7 and 8. And we can also observe another ring with uh, 1, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So in this way, even if it is a bicyclo compound, we can observe the three rings within this structure. So what will be the number of rings? So in order to see this let us calculate the IHD value by taking the molecular formula of this compound now this compound is having the eight carbons so it is C8 and every carbon is having the two hydrogens except the bridge heads like the one and four which are having a single hydrogen so the molecular formula of this compound will be C8H14 instead of the H16 it is having the H14 because at the bridge heads only one hydrogen is present so now this is the molecular formula of this uh, bicycloalkane and if we compare with a saturated open chain alkane it will be C8H18 because of CNH2N plus 2 so it is C8H18. Now the number of uh, hydrogens are going to be lost here are the minus 4 hydrogens. So the index of hydrogen deficiency will be 4 by 2 which is equal to 2. So here the IHD value of this compound is 2. Now you can easily say how many number of rings that should be considered in this uh, structure. 
so since the ihd value is 2 so the number of rings is also 2 and we can also observe this by again the number of cleavages that are required to open this compound to a open chain compound for example if we cleave the ring here the bridge head is going to be opened and then if we cleave the bond here again the ring is completely open so by two cleavages the ring can be completely opened as an open chain compound so the number of cleavages are two so we can consider the number of rings as the two so the ihd value of this compound by considering the number of rings and pi bonds is again 2 plus 0 that is equal to 2 so calculation of the ihd value just by seeing the structure as well as from the molecular formula will give the same value as the 2 in this way for any given structure we can easily identify the ihd value just by seeing the number of rings as well as presence of the pi bonds within the structure